Bayo Nanoga just proved me wrong. I am very sorry to have even called someone like Katiku Kwakwansa Pitobi that they ought to join the ongoing uh, protest that we are preparing. That Buhari, Tinumbu, Wondoshoinko, Sibanjo, the likes of them, protested against Jonathan as opposition political parties back then in 2014. So, because of, you know, those scenarios, the memory is still in my brain. How these people were protesting against Jonathan, carrying coffin in their head, putting inscription R.I.P. Jonathan, because they feel that Jonathan is not ruling well, only doing well. Now, we all are experiencing the hardship of the failed government of Bonda Metinumbu. So, because of this protest they are preparing, the memory is still in my brain. So, that was the reason why I said the opposition political leaders like Wakwansa, uh, Atiku Abubakar, uh, Pitobi, that all these people suppose to need the protest. I was thinking that maybe good luck Jonathan administration still have the likes of Tinubu administration, but I was wrong. So, I remember what uh, Alindu Dume said, that this government are kakistocrats. That is kakistocracy, the government of the worst. The government of the worst people, where people needing the rest of the citizens are the worst set of citizens. Because Bayo Nanoga, who come out to drag p 2 that is his P2B's people are pre uh, preparing for the protest, and uh, if anything happens, they should hope he should be responsible. Bayo Nanoga is a media personality, and he's on media, he's seeing people who are preparing for protests, right? P2B is not even interested in any protest at all. That was why I was even trying to drag them. Atiku is not even interested in the protest. That was why I was trying to drag them. And likewise, Kwakwansa. Itobi is a kind of person that don't even support anything like protest at all. So, when Bayo Nanoga started dragging his name, I said, oh, I think I was wrong. Because even some of my subscribers told me that, oh, this video you made, I think you are wrong. You are not supposed to make this kind of video because these people in government are kakisocrats. They don't even know anything about democracy. Only thing they know is on the bus, snatch it, grab it. You know, fight for it. Everything they know is on the bad wall. But you, you see, Bayo Nanoga is a, is a global by God. It's a global religious and tribal by God. There is a petition, not one, not two, not three, in Amsterdam against Bayo Nanoga. He's aware of it in International Criminal Court. They wrote a lot of petitions against him during the 2023 presidential election. The, the likes of Bayo Nanoga could be, you know, the people who masterminded the attacks they endeavored against other political parties who never wanted to vote for APC. They were forced, they did all sorts of things against them. But it's not only Bayo Nanoga. So many people also in the House of Rep, they don't even know what democracy is. They don't know the meaning of protest. If Bayo Nanoga approves or he feels that he's educated, he's supposed to know the meaning of protest. That protest is a civil something, it's something that is under the ambit of the law, it's a, a civil right of every citizen to protest against their government if they feel that the, their government is not doing well. All nations of the world, people protest. Why is it that when it comes to the, these people's time, not that they themselves, Tinumbu is a sponsor of protests. He sponsored a lot of protests in the past. Now it is his turn. They want to use tribe and all those things to fight people who want to protest. But they failed. Bayo Nanoga has failed. And what he's planning is not going to come to pass. So, I, as I'm blaming Bayo Nanoga, I'm also blaming those people from the House of Rep who are saying those who are trying to protest are undermining the peace of the nation. Are you kidding me? How, how no minded can you be that you call yourself a House of Rep member to come out to begin to make such statements? Because as far as I'm concerned, the best thing Tinubu could pray to have is protest. Do not push people to resolve to self-help. Protest is something that is constitutional, so allow people to protest. Just look at what this man is saying in the, in the floor of the House of Rep. Constituency from Sokoto State. Mr. Speaker, this issue is a critical issue and it's timely for this hollow chamber to discuss this matter. I'm a young man, I'm a product of struggle. Normally, in every struggle, three C is necessary. Consultation, confirmation, and comportation. Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues, I believe, with all honesty, the organizers of the protest, the young people that are calling for the protest, have not put necessary steps to make a confirmation or consultation from the government of the Federation and the government at all levels. In that way, Mr. Speaker, Calling protest directly to the street 
will definitely turn down the peace and unity of our dear nation. Mr. Speaker, I'm a comrade. Anytime we are calling for protest, we must consider the atmosphere that we can lead protest and a peaceful protest. But the present atmosphere was the frustration anybody or every organization that is organizing protest is definitely undermining the peace and unity of our dear country. It is constitutional to have or to organize protest, but always you must consider the national interest above individual or group interest. Mr. Speaker, these people that are calling for protest, I believe they don't know what will be the outcome when they go ahead to call for this protest. You can call for protest, but there is always non-state actors at the back door that are waiting to hijack what you think you organize on a peaceful manner. My candid appeal for the young people of the Federal Republic of Nigeria is a kindly cited on the example of what is currently going in the continent of Africa, that there is a conspiracy of the Western world. Do not undermine what your action can cause as far as the economic prosperity, peace, and the progress of your own country. Mr. Speaker, giving a reference Far back 2009, under the ages of African Youth and Student Association, we organized a mega rally in Sudan, trying to showcase what we believe is unacceptable policies across the African country. But at the end of the day, the protest turned out to be unpeaceful and the Sudanese that hosted the protest bear the consequences. And now the same issues has been championing in Kenya, the same issues has been championing in, very, in, in many African countries. Nigerian always, the case is different. When we started something, we don't know where it is going to be end. So I call for my fellow young people that, yes, I'm a, a member of opposition extraction, but at this very critical time, it is a matter of dialogue. It is a matter of talks. This talk, consult before you take a step of confrontation. My fellow young people understand the situation and allow the policies to strive and see where the necessary way forward. Mr. Speaker, on this note, I want to once more uh, call on my fellow young people to please exercise one more patience to see where the policies direction of this present administration is heading to before making any further confrontation. Please consult, make confirmation before taking any further confrontation step. Thank you very much.